What happens to during implosion, the biggest news story of 2023 so far has been the search for the Titan submarine. On Thursday, 22 June it was reported that all five passengers died after the vessel suffered a catastrophic implosion. Debris of the 6.7-meter-long vessel was found by the U.S. Coast Guard who along with other agencies had been searching for the vessel when it went missing on Sunday, 18 of June. On behalf of the United States Coast Guard and the entire Unified Command, I offer my deepest condolences to the families. The Titan submersible suffered a catastrophic implosion, but what happens when a submarine is pushed beyond its normal operating limits, what happens to a submarine at crush depth? A submarine is a watercraft capable of independent operation below the surface of the water. It differs from a submersible, which has more limited underwater capability. The depths of the ocean are a mysterious, unknown place. Shrouded in darkness and pressure, it's not an environment that many dare to explore. But what happens when a submarine is pushed beyond its normal operating limits? When a submarine reaches its crush depth, the consequences can be catastrophic. Today, we take a look at what occurs when a submarine reaches its crush depth, how such an event can change the course of history for people on board, and what happened to the U.S. Navy submarine USS Thresher. Let's dive in. The term most commonly refers to a large, manned vessel. Submarines are used as research vessels for a variety of scientific disciplines such as oceanography and archaeology. They are also used for undersea warfare, including anti-submarine warfare, mine laying and drug interdiction. Submarines can also be used for tourism, as they have been used for personal submarine ownership, charter trips and even undersea hotels. Crush depth is the depth at which a submarine is subjected to enough water pressure to cause it to collapse. The U.S. Navy uses an absolute pressure of 2.0 kg per centimeter square as its crush depth limit. This is the pressure required to collapse the submarine's hull. The depth at which a submarine can operate without being crushed by the water pressure is known as its operating depth. The U.S. Navy uses a pressure of 0.7 kg per centimeter square as its operating depth limit. Submarines are designed to withstand the immense pressure of the deep ocean depths, but they are not indestructible. At crush depth, the water pressure is so great that it can cause the submarine's hull to collapse, crushing the crew and anyone else inside. While the exact crush depth of a particular submarine is classified, it is generally believed that most submarines can withstand a pressure of about 1.5 kg per centimeter square. This is still well above the U.S. Navy's operating depth limit of 0.7 kg per centimeter square. Even at depths well below crush depth, the water pressure can be intense. The pressure at depths of 1,000 meters is about 100 times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. This is why submarines must be specially designed and built to withstand the immense pressure of the deep ocean depths. Most submarine endurance is determined by the materials used in the construction process as well as the amount of hull capacity. The hull is a unique structure used to keep a submarine afloat by holding water in, which contributes to the sub's buoyancy. A submarine's depth ratings are the primary design parameters and measures for its ability to operate underwater. There are several significant submarine depth numbers, test depths, and suboperational goals that exist that are expected to be carried out without any negative effects. When pressure causes a submarine's hull to collapse, collapse depth is defined as its crushed depth. Divers on any type of sub have a low risk of falling into the water due to their low diving depth, and this is accomplished on a regular basis for exercise. The test depth, the depth at which a submarine can travel on a regular basis, of a military sub is classified. It is generally accepted that a collapse's maximum depth, depth of implosion or collapse, is between 1.5 and 2 meters. They can certainly go deeper as the latest American sub is said to be made of HY-100. Nuclear submarines can travel much further than conventional surface-based vessels. The Navy, on the other hand, does not allow its submarines to travel as deep as the research submarine, which can go to depths of up to 7,000 feet. 
A sub can sink to a depth of 800 feet underwater. The depth at which submarines crush is approximately 2,000 feet. This is due to the immense pressure of the water at that depth. The pressure of the water is so great that it causes the submarine to implode. For more interesting videos please subscribe to Stay Beastly YouTube channel.